So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're going to create a countdown timer using only the built-in plugins. So we're not installing or buying any different plugins. We're just using one of the generators that you will, we're using one of the generators that you'll automatically have in Final Cut Pro 10. So essentially what you see here is what we're going to get. We're going to get a minute and second countdown timer that's going to run from five minutes down to zero. And this technique is going to be really useful for you when you're thinking about modifying other generators that Final Cut has built into it in order to create different effects in your edits. There's a lot of great built-in plugins that we can mold and twist and adjust to get the effect we want. So we're gonna pause this for now. Essentially, you can see what happens. It runs right through from five and down to zero. And we're gonna delete everything off the timeline and start from scratch. So we'll just grab everything on our timeline hit the backspace button and we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is add our generator onto the timeline. So we're going to come up to the left of our Final Cut Pro 10 screen into our generators and we're looking in our generators drop down here for the time code generator. So I'm just going to type in a search for the time code here and you can see I've got a couple of different time code options here but I want to use the the pre-built in one so you should see this black screen with the numbers running across the screen. And we're gonna drag that down to the timeline. So we'll drag it down. At the moment our generator is very short, so we wanna change the duration. And the way that we can do that is by right clicking on our clip, or by hitting Control and D and going to change duration. And then once we get that, we're gonna be able to change the duration in the middle of our screen here. So we're gonna type in five, period, period, or full stop, full stop, and then hit enter. And that's gonna change that to a five minute long generator so you can see my time code here is running from one through to five and at the moment we run through from zero to five we're showing the minutes so if i just move my playhead here we're showing the minutes seconds and frames and we want to change that up a little bit so we're just seeing the minutes and frames but the first thing we need to do is reverse it and in order to do that we need to turn it into a compound clip so that when we change the timing of it it's drawing the time code from the compound clip that it's nested within rather than from the original timeline. So if I right click on my time code here and go to new compound clip, I'm just gonna leave the default name up there, but you can type in your own name if you want. Click OK. And then now with this compound clip, you can see if we select it and then come to the retiming options here, and we reverse that clip, that compound clip, we now are counting down from five to one. So essentially we have the kind of first bit of our, our clip set up here. So we're gonna jump in and, so we're gonna double click on here to jump into the compound clip to change some of the settings that we have here. And we can stretch this out a little bit further so we actually get the five on there. So we only had the 459 there, but now we uh, have extended that to, to start counting down from five and we can tweak that when we're in our timeline so now that we're in here we can select our time code we can increase the font size to whatever we want we can change the font face if we want to use a different font face so I'm going to go for this Hirogino Kaku Gothic standard just a nice big bold font and we can add uh, change the font color we can change any of these settings here that we want we can also change the the center of it so I can try and center my time code to the middle here which will save me moving it around a little bit later so we'll just tweak this a little bit until we got it in roughly the right spot and then once that's set up like that um, we don't need to make any more changes um, to this now we can go back into our main clip so I'm going to come to the middle of my interface here go back and once we're in here you can see we're starting at 4 59 59 so now we need to make another so now we need to make another change here for some reason when you have the original um, nested clip or the compound clip on the timeline you can't stretch it out so we can't stretch it out here to go beyond that 459 but if we delete this and then come up into our project we can grab the compound clip that's been made grab that entire clip and you can see here we're going up we're going up here to 511 so now 511 or 519 because we extended it in the compound clip and now we can come up to our reverse clip option and you can see here that we start 519 and so we can move our playhead 
until we get five exactly. And we can trim that down. So now we're going, so now we're counting down from five minutes uh, down to zero. And what we're going to do here is select this clip and then come up to the inspector on the top right where we're going to use the crop tools. If you don't see your inspector on the top right there, just go to Window, Show in Workspace, and select the inspector or Command and 4. And then we're going to crop from the left to remove those zeros. So we just want the minutes and seconds. And then we're going to go and crop from the right. So we're now we have our countdown timer and we can reposition that if we need to, but that looks pretty central um, for this example. So you can see we've got to be careful there. It's, so I need to tweak my crop there. And so we're counting down perfectly now from five minutes to zero just by tweaking the built-in generators in Final Cut Pro 10. And one other thing we can do here just to demonstrate that wherever we move this in the timeline with it keeping the exact same time code is if we pause this and I'm going to come here and grab my position tool. I can move my clip onto a connected clip. So I've actually moved it above the main storyline here. And so you can see, even though I've moved my clip to start at three minutes and 34 seconds in the timeline here, so you can see my when I move my playhead, it's starting at 334. The number starts at five, so we count down from five all the way down to zero. So I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then just leave a message below, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.